Welcome to Alhamdulillah Channel Animals Makci, Pakci, like and subscribe, okay? Jellyfish is a type of invertebrate marine animal that belongs to the phylum Cynidaria. The jellyfish referred to here is an animal of the Shipozoa class, so it is often called a true jellyfish, so as not to be confused with other animals that are also called jellyfish, such as Ctenophora, comb jellyfish, and Cubozoa, box jellyfish. As members of the Cnidaria, they have two body forms, polyps that attach to the seabed and medusa that can swim freely and are inverted cup-shaped. They are generally 2 to 40 cinnamon eaters in size, but larger jellyfish can reach 1 per 2 meters, such as the largest species Cyanea capillata, better known as the lion's mane. Shepozoans can be found in the world's oceans, from the surface to the deep sea, Shipozoans are not found in freshwater. Shipozoans eat a variety of foods, such as crustaceans or fish, that they hunt using nematocyst organelles found in their tentacles. Nematocysts are characteristic of the phylum Cnidaria, needle-shaped cells that pierce and inject venom into their prey. Basic body forms Adult jellyfish have two basic body forms. Medusa, which can swim freely, motile, and polyp, which attaches to the substrate, sessile. Both forms have radial symmetry. They have no head, and their mouth and anus are located in the same orifice. <laughs> the side near the mouth is called oral, and the opposite is called aberal. Jellyfish have tentacles filled with nematodes on their sides. The medusa has a thick and elastic mesoglea, which allows the medusa to glide through the water and regain its original shape. Jellyfish are diploblastic. In other words, they have two main cell layers, whereas more complex animals are triploblastic, which have three main layers. The two main cell layers of a jellyfish are the exoderm on the outside and the gastroderm on the inside, in the center of which is the mesoglea, which serves as the skeleton. Nematocysts are cells that stab and inject toxins into their prey. Nematocysts consist of nida organelles, or nidocysts, in the form of capsules and coils of threads containing toxins. At the end of the threads, there are hooks that can pierce prey. To trigger the shot, nematocysts have cilia, or fine hairs, called nidocysts. The last is the operculum as a nida cover. The thread may be a spring, which can stretch rapidly when the operculum is open. Chemical changes within the cell when the trigger is active, resulting in osmosis pressure that causes water to enter through the membrane and force the thread to fire. When the trigger is active, the cnida contract rapidly, 
increasing the pressure inside the capsule. Nematocysts can only be used once, but can be replaced within 48 hours. To avoid wasted shots, such as at inanimate objects or too far away, a combination of two triggers is used, sensory cells to detect chemicals in the water and cilia to respond to contact, nematocysts are usually connected by nerves, so when one is fired, the other will also be triggered. Nematocysts are very effective weapons. A single nematocyst can paralyze arthropods and small fish. Medusa moves using muscles that pull on its body so that the water in its body cavity will come out and push it. Its elastic mesoglea restores its shape and the jellyfish can repeat the movement again. On the other hand, polyps can move slowly by crawling like snails. Jellyfish do not have a brain or central nervous system. They do, however, have a neural net made up of neurons that can respond to various stimuli. Its cnidocytes have cilia that can detect physical contact and senses that can detect chemicals such as odors. This combination allows cnidocytes to fire at precise targets. Cnidocytes are also aroused and fire when nearby cnidocytes also fire. Jellyfish consist of about 200 species divided into several orders, Coronati, Coronati are also called crown jellyfish. They are distinguished from other jellyfish by the grooves in their umbrellas that make them look like crowns. Most species live in the deep sea, so they have the ability to bioluminesce or produce their own light. This ability is activated when the animal is touched. This ability can be used to surprise and deceive predators that are trying to prey on them. Bioluminescence can also be used to attract prey. There are about 54 species that have been identified as of 2016 and are divided into six families. All right, guys, next we will discuss about other cute animals. Watch only on Alhamdulillah channel about animals. Thank you for watching. I am Kabulo Tatapula Esa.